Hello everyone, this is Nathan TV of Denmark. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going back to... Tongue, 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 tongue. Konnichiwa! Konbanwa guys, we are going to the land of the license in Japan. Uh, Ohio. So guys... Oyasumi nasai. Mm -hmm. What? Hi, <laughs> Mr. Dozo. Yoroshiko. So guys, we are going to, this is Nelson's TV too, and we are going to, Christmas is uh, tomorrow, or today, when you see this, is... Uh, in Denmark, yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, this is um, a video, uh, the, this YouTuber named the Shugunate, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he has this video called Christmas in Feudal Japan. Japan. In feudal Japan. Yeah, this is also very interesting. Yeah, so well anyway guys if you're new to our if you're new to our channel, you're very much welcome to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified every time we have a new video. So let's get started. Today, Christmas in Japan sounds like a bit of a spectacle. In a country where only two percent of the population is Christian, it is surprising mm -hmm. that a holiday of Christian roots has become so massive. This appears to be because Christmas is a very commercial holiday in Japan. Honestly, just like how it has become over here in the West, okay. except with much more KFC than one might expect. However, Christmas in Japan today isn't what we are here to talk about. Instead, I want to bring up the interesting details surrounding what is largely considered to be Japan's first Christmas, which, believe it or not, occurred right during the Sengoku Jidai, Japan's Age of Warring States. But if you want to learn more about Christmas in Japan today, or just the history of Christmas in Japan in general, I recommend you check out the video Shogo did on that topic. He really goes into everything. I'll link it down below. Okay. Yet for this one, I just want to focus on feudal Japan, how Christmas was introduced, and how it would continue to be celebrated. Now, I will admit that plenty of the information I was able to find regarding this topic comes from several different articles, so I'll try to make the best sense of it for you. Right. I'm sorry, uh, I was at the... Maybe it's the Portuguese? Yeah, also there's, also there's the Portuguese. I was thinking 20% of uh, Japanese are Christian, so they are... One? What? I said 20% or... Two? 2%, okay. So what religion are they? Uh, Buddhist? Yes. Ah, actually, actually I don't know. Ah, okay. So let's continue. It's very interesting information because uh, we don't. I don't know so much about Japan, but I think you know more. Yeah, I'm not sure I remember if, what kind of Buddhism it is, if it's okay. Tao or sh sh shin Shinta. Okay, well, let, let's see, let's see. But yeah, I remember the Portuguese from Shogun. <laughs> yeah, the name of this uh, YouTube channel is called Sh The Shogunate. So he's very, I think he's very fan of uh, Shogun series. <laughs> not necessarily because... <laughs> what is actually Shogun? I mean? Sh Shogun was... Uh, yeah, well, I, it's very hard to okay, explain, so but it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's many years ago. So so persons who lived many years ago mm. were called shoguns. Mm. So yeah, that's why okay. the series is called that. Okay, let's. And maybe this is also why the channel is called that. I don't think it's because of that okay. TV series. Okay, so let's continue, guys. The story is believed to begin with the famous missionary Francis Xavier, who arrived in Japan in 1549, roughly six years after Europeans had made first contact with the Japanese. At this point in time, of course, Japan was deep into the Sengoku period, when samurai lords known as daimyo were competing for regional dominance all across the country. It was a turbulent age of war which of course was made even more chaotic by these strange new foreigners who were now arriving on Japanese shores, bringing with them their new goods and technologies. But it was also not long before Jesuit missionaries also began to integrate themselves in Japan, spreading Christianity to all sorts of samurai and commoners. Mm -hmm. However, even though Christians had arrived, there does not appear to have been any record or mention of them celebrating Christmas in Japan. What was probably the case was that they simply celebrated the birth of Christ privately amongst themselves and perhaps other Japanese converts. Mm -hmm. Now, while Francis Xavier was in Japan, he spent extended amounts of time in the city of Yamaguchi, an important trade city in western Honshu, mm -hmm. which by the early 1550s was still under the rule of the Ochi clan, and would not fall to the Mori until several years later. 
Once again, however, even while Francis Xavier was there, it does not appear that there was any public celebration of Christmas. And by 1552, he had left Japan and would die shortly after in early December while in China. Yet the impact he left on Yamaguchi would remain, as in that very same year, it is believed that the very first Christmas was publicly celebrated there in December of 1552. This is largely considered oh, to be okay. Japan's... Wait, now I know. Hmm. Okay, okay, this is the history. First ever Christmas. Now, according to the information that I was able to find, which I will link down below, it is said that on this first Christmas, there were readings of Bible passages and donations actually distributed to less fortunate farmers who were in need of aid. Okay. I'm not sure where these donations came from, if they were directly from the missionaries or if the Japanese actually organized this, but it is pretty interesting to hear about this season of giving happening right here in the middle of the Sengoku Jidai. It is believed that this was not the only Christmas celebrated during the period, and that Christians would continue to celebrate the holiday openly for several more years. Obviously, these Christmas celebrations probably looked nothing like what we imagine Christmas to look like today. Mm -hmm. And instead, one source implies that the Japanese might have even taken these festivities as a means to honor winter spirits. In fact, I might even be more inclined to believe that the Japanese in this time would have equated the celebration to be more linked to their winter solstice, which also happens to be in late December. Okay. Now, it's like a double celebration winter, just this winter or something, and then Christmas today. It's a bit yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's like a like the Vikings also had. Yeah. Uh, Yule. Yule. Yeah. <laughs> Before. Yeah. Anything called Christmas. Mm -hmm. As you probably already know, Christianity in Japan during the later years of the Sengoku Jidai would not go so well. And diving into the entire topic of Christianity in feudal Japan should be really left to its own video, something I've been planning on doing for a while. But long story short, for a number of reasons, due to increased tension between Christians and the Toyotomi regime that had been pushing for a reunification of Japan, Christianity would be forbade. At this time, however, under the leadership of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, this ban on the spread of Christianity by Jesuit missionaries ended up being more of a slap on the wrist, as many samurai even continued to be devout Christians, despite numerous attempts to clamp down on the faith overall. From what I was able to find, any Christmas festivities would not have been celebrated publicly during this time for obvious reasons, but... Ah, oh, okay, now we know. <laughs> I was also thinking when you, you know when we're reacting to our uh, music channel, we're trying to find Christmas songs. It's not there's not so much uh, many Christmas songs from Japan. I was also we're thinking why this well, it, it's not so big thing in Japan. I don't know nah, if big. that's the case. Yeah, but probably. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just my in my opinion. But I imagine in private, the birth of Christ might still have been celebrated by Christians within the country. Yet, the situation was bound to change once again, after the rise of the Tokugawa shogunate. After Tokugawa Ieyasu usurped power away from the Toyotomi family in 1600, later going on to establish his new military government which would rule Japan for the next couple of centuries. By 1614, the Tokugawa shogunate would officially ban Christianity in Japan, including all Christian traditions. This meant Christmas too, forcing any remaining Christians in the country into hiding their faith. And here is where I don't know a lot about the hidden Christians, because I really don't know how these hidden Christians celebrated the birth of Christ, if at all. Yet, through Japanese imagery so we have of the Virgin Mary and... Pro it is prohibited to be Christian in yes. the old days, yeah. Forbidden. Yeah, forbidden, yeah. Maybe Jesus, I imagine there might have been some celebrations of his birth in some form. And this is really the end of what I wanted to talk about in this video, as the Christians are forced into hiding and the celebration of Christmas trails off. But there was a strange little loophole that would arise that I do want to bring up. Into the 17th century, the trade hub of Dejima in Nagasaki had become really the only point where European trade was allowed to enter Japan, mostly at this point by the Dutch. And although Christianity had been heavily outlawed, the Dutch it seemed would find a strange workaround. Being that they were not allowed to publicly celebrate Christmas, the Dutch would instead celebrate a form of winter solstice, in which they would engage in festivities and invite the Japanese to take part. The Japanese would dub this celebration as the Oranda Shogatsu, 
the Dutch New Year celebration. It was these festivities that would be carried out here in Dejima throughout the remainder of the Edo period that would sort of take the place of a normal Christmas celebration, as this became a combination of a celebration of the winter solstice and the new year. There are records of this event even occurring into the 1800s, in which the Japanese were invited to partake in the festivities and try out all sorts of Dutch meals. And that is where I want to leave it here for this video. Personally, I find this topic to be very interesting, as it shows how Christmas was celebrated in Japan first during the Sengoku period, and although it would eventually be banned with the rest of Christian practices, bits of it would still live on through the Dutch winter solstice celebration that occurred yearly in Dejima. So, with that said, I hope you all have a happy holidays, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Yeah, we, we do. Mm -hmm. That was very interesting. Now I know a bit the history of uh, Japan uh, Christmas. Uh, uh, about the Christmas in Japan. But I think uh, today is not that it's not prohibited anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Otherwise it's, it wouldn't be 2% mm -hmm. Christians. Mm -hmm. But I was also I was also surprised that it's only two percent Christian. Oh yeah, well yeah. maybe this is why because it yeah. was forbidden for yeah. many years. Yeah, forbidden so. me for many years. So okay, this is very inter interesting information and how the Christmas is, uh, you know, how the celebrate yes. started. The but at the same time, I'm not sure that uh, Buddhism was uh, allowed in in the Western countries either. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's only one true religion. What is it? Christianity. Christianity. I think. Okay. So. There's a lot of talk to discuss if we talk about religion, politics. <laughs> <laughs> this r yes. topic about religion, politics. As oh, oh, oh let, no, no, let's not go let's into not politics. Let's not dive to this, yeah, because <laughs> I think they have, we have many opinions. But this is very interesting information that we have at least a bit of information how the how, how is you know the history of I mean, Christmas in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very interesting. So that's why I choose this video. To so this uh, owner of this video. Uh, the Shogunate, thank you for this very informative video yeah. and happy holidays also happy, happy Merry holidays. Christmas yeah so that's all for now guys and thank you for watching our reaction video I hope you like your reaction video and if you're new to our channel you're very much welcome to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified every time we have a new video and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and Merry Christmas to all of you ho 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 yeah <laughs> sayonara <laughs>